Hi and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I have something from IFF. It's bicyclinonal lactone. It's actually all one word, bicyclinonal lactone. It is a base at 400 hours and I guess the easiest way that you can think about it is coconut. So I will read the back and it's um, sweet milky coconut. Um, it's sharp, fatty, fruity, um, tonka bean-like, a little bit woody, vanilla nuances are kind of in there as well. Again, I said it's at 400 hours. It is from IFF. I think I already said that. From here, it is clean complex. I just summed it up kind of quick right there, but it is clean, and, but it is really complex. Like, it is a, like a heavier, you can tell that it's a base. It's a very fatty, not just coconut, but you can see that there's a little bit of vanilla in here. A little bit of a lighter wood, like a new wood. It is a little sweet to me. It is a little fruity. Not a lot though, but a, a little bit is in there. Um, hang on, because I'm going to give you some stuff that goes with this. Interestingly enough, it is a little tamer on the scent strip. Clean fat coconut or fatty coconut. Same same thing, a little bit of tiny bit of vanilla y stuff going on. It actually reminds me a tiny bit of coumarin. Just a little bit, but a little bit of coumarin, I guess. That's in here. It's just tamer here than it is from smelling from the bottle which is weird but it's true i don't know it's really weird i would expect the opposite i think that's why i just said it's really weird i would expect the opposite so um i really love it this is in the beginner's kit at creatingperfume.com so just so you know this is one you use at 100 percent. you don't need to dilute it you can but you don't need to. So let me tell you some things that I would not just put it with, but this is what I would put together as a formula. So the first thing I would put it with is um, Paradisimide. Um, that is kind of like a passion fruit guava kind of a thing. It's really mm, a little different because it's a, um, um, I mean, I picked the passion fruit base as well. This is different as this is sharper. This is actually at 20%. Yeah, it's a little sharper green. Um, so I put it at 20%. In this bottle, it's at 20%. Um, and um, the passion fruit base, I would put with this. Um, there's a couple in here that I think you're going to be like, what? Really? Yeah, this is the out-of-the-box stuff that I think would really work with this all together. Um, Orange Blossom Accord. A little bit of this, not like a whole lot. I wouldn't make this the main theme, but I would put a little bit in there. Um, then, um, this does fit. Do Fruit. Absolutely. I think it, I did a, a video on Do Fruit. So if you've not seen that video, head over and watch that whole video on Dew Fruit. It's really good. It's it's nice. So here are the two other things. Well, the one thing that I would say is a little different is the orange blossom, but here's two more, but I think could complete this formula. Kephalis, K-E-P-H-A-L-I-S. I talked about this in a different video. I've made so many videos. I don't know which one I talked about it in now, but this is an incredible, incredible 
uh, how do I describe this? It's like a floral, woody base. Um, it's from Jivadam. Um, with a little bit of amber. Oh, it's a little woody amber. It's a little bit floral, woody amber. But I'm telling you, it will fit in this. And then one more is the woody vetiver. So, and this is a base and really pretty strong. So you can definitely pick up that vetiver. So not a lot of this. Let this be kind of in the background. But all this together can be a beautiful, beautiful formula. Um, so I hope that is helpful. Obviously, you can take this and add a couple of different things to it. Right off the bat, one thing that could be really, really cool is I'm going to grab one of my Accords that I made. So a sweet raspberry Accord, like a drop or two of that in here could be really nice. Um, so see, I'm just, that's how you work it. You just, so make a little bitty vial of this. See how you like it. Hmm. What does it need? What does it not need next time? Like that kind of stuff. And you can, oh yeah, a little bit of sweet raspberry could go in here, just a drop to kind of bring out the fruit, make it a little bit more fruit forward, something like that. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of thinking out of the box a little bit like I did with these two, the Cephalus and the um, Woody Vetiver uh, and the Orange Blossom as well. And hopefully it also gives you an idea of some different things that might go with your quote coconut aroma. Um, again, this is a base. So just remembering that this is a base for when you make your product. So it could be the shining star and the thing that you want front and center in front of this, or you may want this in the kind of the, the middle part, or you may want to hide it in the background, this aroma. So just based off of that, that's how much you want to use. A little bit more, a little bit less, that kind of a thing. So I hope that was helpful. And I um, would just ask if you like this, just give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Thank you so much for joining me.